Hello mga learners, welcome back to Sir Mars Vlog. Last time we discussed about the discriminant and the nature of roots of quadratic equations. So, to continue our lessons, now I will be discussing about the sum and the product of roots of quadratic equations. And our objectives are, the learner describes the relationship between the coefficients and the roots of a quadratic equation. And the learner determines the sum and the product of the roots of quadratic equations using the values of A, B, and C. And here it is. Finding the sum and the product of the roots of quadratic equation of the form AX squared plus BX plus C equals 0. For example, we have this. X squared plus 2X minus 8 equals 0. And we will find the sum and the product of its roots. But how? Since we are beginners with this lesson, the first thing that we will do is to solve for the roots, right? And to solve for the roots of a quadratic equation, we will apply those methods or techniques in solving quadratic equations like factoring, completing the square, and by using the quadratic formula. But here, I will be using factoring. So I will factor out x squared plus 2x minus 8 equals 0. And to factor out, again, let us consider that the value of a equals 1, and then the value of c equals negative 8. So I will just look for the factors of negative 8 with the sum of 2. And take note. Since the value of C is negative, its factors have different signs. And the sign of the middle term will go to the factor with higher absolute value. And the factors would be quantity of x plus 4 times quantity of x minus 2 equals 0. And after getting the factors, we will set each factor equal to 0. So we have x plus 4 equals 0 and x minus 2 equals 0. And the values of x are x sub 1 equals negative 4 while x sub 2 equals 2. And to get the sum, we have to add x sub 1 plus x sub 2 equals 2, negative 4 plus 2 equals negative 2. And to get the product, we will multiply x sub 1 times x sub 2 equals negative 4 times 2 equals negative 8. So therefore, the sum of the roots of x squared plus 2x minus 8 equals 0 is negative 2. While the product is negative 8. And the question is, can we find the sum in the product of the roots? of a quadratic equation in the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0 without finding its roots? Yes, we can. And it will be discussed on the next slide. By using the quadratic formula, x equals negative b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a, we let x sub 1 equals negative b plus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a and x sub 2 equals negative b minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a and now let us solve for the sum of x sub 1 and x sub 2 by substituting their values we have x sub 1 plus x sub 2 equals negative b plus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a plus negative b minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And observe, positive square root of b squared minus 4ac and negative square root of b squared minus 4ac only differ in signs. So therefore, we can cancel out because if we're going to add the two terms, the answer would be 0. And now, we will add negative b over 2a plus negative b over 2a. 
And the answer is negative 2b over 2a. And we will cancel out 2. So the only term that left in the numerator is negative b, while on the denominator is a. So therefore, x sub 1 plus x sub 2 equals negative b over a. So now, what can you say about the sum of the roots of the quadratic equation in relation to its coefficients? So based on the result, the sum of the roots of the quadratic equation is the negation of b over the value of a. Next, let us proceed to the product. We have x sub 1 times x sub 2 equals negative b plus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a times negative b minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And observe, these terms are sum in difference of binomial. So to multiply, we will just multiply the first term by first term and second term by second term. So if we multiply negative b times negative b, the answer is b squared. Positive times negative is negative. And then if we multiply square root of b squared minus 4ac times itself, the answer is b squared minus 4ac. And then we have to multiply the denominators. 2a times 2a equals 4a squared. That is why we have x sub 1 times x sub 2 equals b squared minus the quantity of b squared minus 4ac all over 4a squared. And next, we will distribute negative 1 to b squared minus 4ac. So we have x sub 1 times x sub 2 equals b squared minus b squared plus 4ac all over 4a squared. We will simplify b squared minus b squared equals 0. So we only have x sub 1 times x sub 2 equals 4ac over 4a squared. And then we will factor out a squared on the denominator. So we have 4ac over 4a times a. Cancel out 4a. So the only term left on the numerator is c while on the denominator is a. Therefore, x sub 1 times x sub 2 equals c over a. And now, the question is, what can you say about the product of the roots of a quadratic equation in relation to its coefficients? Based on the result, the product of the roots of a quadratic equation is equal to the constant term divided by a. Again, the sum of the roots of quadratic equation is negative b over a, while the product of the roots of quadratic equation is c over a. And we have this, finding the sum in the product of quadratic equation of the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0 by using the values of a, b, and c. First example, x squared minus 3x minus 18 equals 0. So first, we have to identify the values of a, b, and c. So a equals 1, b equals negative 3, c equals negative 18. And to get the sum or the sum of the roots is we have negative b over a. Substitute the values of b and a. That is, we have negative 1 times negative 3 over 1. Negative 1 times negative 3 equals 3. 3 over 1 equals 3. So therefore, the sum of the roots of x squared minus 3x minus 18 plus 0 is 3. Next, the product of the roots is c over a. Substitute the values of c and a. We have negative 18 over 1 and that is equal to negative 18. So therefore, the product of the roots of x squared minus 3x minus 18 equals 0 is negative 18. By using factoring, the roots that can be obtained are the following. 
we have the given equation x squared minus 3x minus 18 equals 0. The factors are quantity of x minus 6 times quantity of x plus 3 equals 0. Then equate each factor into 0. We have x minus 6 equals 0 and x plus 3 equals 0. And then x sub 1 equals 6 and x sub 2 equals negative 3. Now, let x sub 1 equals 6 and x sub 2 equals negative 3. The sum of the roots of the quadratic equation is we have x sub 1 plus x sub 2. Substitute, we have 6 plus negative 3 equals 3. And the product of the roots of quadratic equation is we have x sub 1 times x sub 2. Substitute the values, we have 6 times negative 3 equals negative 18. Second example, 8x squared minus 56 equals 0. The values of a, b, and c are the following. a equals 8, b equals 0, and c equals negative 56. The sum of the roots is negative b over a, and substitute the values of b and a. We have negative 0 over 8, and that is equal to 0 over 8 equals 0. So therefore, the sum of the roots of 8x squared minus 56 equals 0 is 0. And the product of the roots is c over a. Substitute the values of c and a. We have negative 56 over 8, and that is equal to negative 7. So therefore, the product of the roots of 8x squared minus 56 equals 0 is negative 7. Now, if extracting the square roots is used, the roots that can be obtained are the following. We have the given equation 8x squared minus 56 equals 0. Transpose negative 56 to the other side. We have 8x squared equals 56. Next, isolate x squared by applying the division property of equality. So we will divide both sides by 8. That is 8x squared over 8 equals 56 over 8. And then cancel out 8. So we have x squared equals 56 over 8. And that is equal to x squared equals 7. Next, extract the square root. So we have square root of x squared equals plus minus the square root of 7. And then the square root of x squared is x. So we have x equals plus minus the square root of 7. So x equals square root of 7. And x equals negative square root of 7. Next. So we will get the sum. Let x sub 1 equals square root of 7. And x sub 2 equals negative square root of 7. So the sum of the roots is x sub 1 plus x sub 2 equals square root of 7 plus negative square root of 7 equals 0. And the product of the roots is x sub 1 times x sub 2 equals square root of 7 times negative square root of 7 equals negative square root of 49. The square root of 49 is 7 times negative 1 that is negative 7. All right, again, the sum of the roots of quadratic equation is negative b over a, and the product of the roots of quadratic equation is c over a. And I hope you've learned a lot from this video lesson, and I wish you will continue supporting me via this platform in teaching, and you will keep on watching my video lessons. And before I will officially close, let me share this to you guys. You're never too young to lead, and you're never too old to learn. By Sir Jiggs. And finally, I would like to give credits to Sir Jiggs because some parts of this video lesson are coming from him. And also, I am promoting his YouTube channel named Sir Jiggs. Please don't forget to subscribe him because he is a good teacher and you will learn more from him. Sir Jiggs, thank you so much and thank you to everyone.